Hi guys, welcome back to Delivery Studios. Let's just visit the master data layout flow. We're going to be implementing a two pane master data layout for a horizontal tablet display. Uh, the app I'm going to be showing right there is going to display a list of songs, uh, the user tabs, a song title to see details about the song. Uh, the app is going to show a master detail layout on one screen. If the screen is wide enough, the main activity provides a song list as the master and uses a fragment for the detail. Uh, actually, you will need to know how to create a fragment with an interactive UI. Uh, you should know how to add, replace and remove a dynamic fragment while an activity is running. So those are just the prerequisites to this uh, tutorial. I'll be heading straight to Android Studio and I'll be brushing through on how to actually uh, achieve the master data layout flow. Rather than the build gradle, you could uh, add the dependencies, the support fragments, the support design, and the recycle view, because these are the uh, libraries I'll be using. And uh, this is just for tutorial purposes. Once you're trying to build for uh, your project, uh, I will employ you to avoid using the plus inversion numbers and it can really be unpredictable as you've seen so it's either you build up to the version number probably 26.0.1.2 and so so this is 26 which is for the android oreo cool uh, from here i'm going to be looking at the layout where we'll be at setting up the master detail you have to set up the master detail from the layout and when once you get to the java classes you code up we have layouts like the detail which is the song detail we have the song list. Uh, the song list is going to be the entry point to the application. So I'm actually going to start from there uh, where we could. Uh, so I'm going to actually change this to fit what we're doing. The master detail. Master detail main activity, uh, master detail flow, flow, which means flow. Cool. Now we have it set up this way. If you could look at the preview, uh, you could see it, uh, the list of uh, the probably the music uh, from an album, and uh, a click on this will take you to a detail of that particular track. So let's uh, look at the way it's actually constructed. Use a coordinator layout that forms this ABBA with uh, the tuba, the ABBA layout wrap around with the tuba. Uh, that's cool. That's uh, like the standard way to actually set up an Android uh, uh, tuba. You wrap it around the, an ABBA layout. In here, you could use uh, a tab layout. Uh, you could even integrate the view pager if you want to. Now, a frame layout is going to specify the content. Where the content are, it's going to sit. That's where we have the song list layout, actually including these uh, on runtime uh, into the frame layout. So that takes you will take us down to the song list. Uh, that's a layout XML which we have in two different uh, sizes. We have for the moderate, which is the normal size uh, where you could have your portrait, and uh, we have for the 900 dp. That's for bigger screens tablets so if you are targeting tablets uh, for your application it's quite cool to set up different XML so from there you could uh, tweak the fragment uh, which is from the frame layout now the first song list uh, is actually going to pick up the items needed we need the image view uh, the text view cool and uh, we also need another text view right there for the subheading followed by the recycler view that actually houses the list of all tracks in that album. You have it set up as you can see from the preview. Now let's look at the Nailder DP, uh, which is quite for our larger screens. Uh, you could see how the preview uh, actually show that. Uh, let me just make it slightly bigger. Cool. And now uh, I'll click on this to let you know where the detail is going to look be. If you should look on this, that's the frame layout that's the song detail container uh, so you could uh, see that that's where uh, the details of each track is going to actually uh, show up so cool with that uh, I will 
we have the image view set up uh, the heading and also the sub heading as we have for the previous layout uh, with the linear layouts that actually wrapped the recycler view with uh, the detail page so you could see that uh, that we've been able to set that appropriately and you could do you, you could achieve this from the layout width of three uh, with the layout height of match parent and the layout width of zero dp so with that attribute you're going to have your frame layout set up side by side with the recycler view as we've seen cool let's get to look at the details so the details is actually going to uh, come around this way uh, which uh, we're going to actually have let me master detail flow so that we're not going to have any crash at runtime and uh, you have the detail this way with the arbor layout as you've seen and uh, with the frame layout for the detail container so this is where the detail uh, screen of your layout is going to go and it's actually included a layout called the song detail so this is actually going to work for the two kind of view we have for the tablet and for the uh, portraits screens so cool from here let's get to look at the Java classes uh, where we have uh, the mark we're going to actually be at coding some uh, values here since uh, it's just for uh, educational purpose and in the main activity uh, which is actually going to set up the the two pane mode firstly uh, it extends app compact and you have the default layout which is one pane uh, so you set that to fourth not two the default is a pane and uh, now you're going to set up the song list as a recycle view and determines whether the screen is wide enough for two pane mode now the song detail container view uh, is going to actually act for the main activity which will be present only if the screen width is 900 dp or larger because it's defined only in the song list example as i've showed earlier and uh, uh not in the default song list so the layout for smaller screens if this view is present then the activity should be in two pay mode so we're going to actually achieve that right in the uh, on create method now you set up the toolbar you call the id of the toolbar and you set the support action bar to that cool and you initialize the recycler view you set to the adapter which is actually going to bind uh data so we have an inner class called the simple item recycler view adapter where we're going to bind data from the song utilities which is the content we're going to talk about that now the container layout if available so we set the two pay mode now you find the id which is the song detail container from the frame layout and uh, if it's not equal to null definitely the two pay mode will be true so if it's been uh gotten there so let's move further now you're going to actually do that further right there in the recycler view adapter which extends the recycler view cool we all know that now we need a list array which is the list of data which will be pointing at the song utils uh before i proceed i would like us to look at the content where the data is coming from which from the array uh from the content we have the song utils class uh this is just going to have the coded uh values that i mentioned an array listed first with song items the index which is going to be for the key the index key and uh, the value is going to be uh, the item itself and this is the count of the number of elements or the number of values we have in the list seven uh, the song item represents the song title and the song details so we have the podio here the song title and the details and the constructor which will act we actually uh, help us out to actually set values to the song title and details variable declared up here so this is an inner class which is static now we have a method called hide item this is actually going to add the item to the list the song item list which we have right there so it's a helper method to actually help us to add values to that list and uh we're going to fill the array with the, the songs based on the count values and uh, you add the item to the created song at position that's a manually uh, created method that's going to actually create each song title and song detail based on the position of the song in the list 
so it's actually uh, going to do this so this is the coded values as i've said uh where we're going to have the title and the detail most most times probably get this from a json uh you embed it into your sqli database or you get it from the cloud uh you use the pojo to decode using retrofit or so or using the http connection and you save some values to the sqli database and you fetch from there so those are just uh, the the use cases of how to actually set values and get them back now for the first case uh the second the, the title keeps changing with the detail until it gets to the default code and uh, it returns a copy of the song title and the new detail so each one of them iterates true and it's gonna gonna return their value so that's just uh the utilities just to help us get data to the master detail flow back to the main activity now we've understand how these uh the song utilities has come about we you have to have the constructor of the recycler of your adapter to actually uh bind the values to the list items now you need to call the oncreate view order if you've been out late recycler view, this should be very very easy for you we call the layout we inflate the layout which is the uh the item layout where you're going to bind data to now this method implements a listener with the set on click listener that's the unbind view order when the user taps a song title the code checks if two pane is true and it uses the fragment to show the song detail if two paid it's false it starts the song detail activity so now i want you to look vividly on this this is where the trick or let's this is where the uh the effect takes place the order calls on different uh items the type the item the id the content view and the view itself now it gets the position for the item it set the text based on the position and uh it's also set the text the content view based on the position which calls the song title from the utils as i've just showed now you're going to set on click listener to the view which is going to override the method on click now in the on click that's where you set the if else if it's a two pane what you're going to do you're going to initiate a fragment uh it's going to create a new instance of a fragment and add it to the activity using the fragment transaction so this is where we have the song detail fragment to be called to replace the container that was the frame layout with an id of the song detail container and you could add that to backstack the commit at the point in time else if the if the m2 pane is false it's going to send an intent to the song detail activity with some extra of the selected song position uh, so you could actually use the position to point at the different keys you have an intent here and uh, passing to the song detail activity and they put the extras uh, that is for the key as a key value now the key is going to be what the song id while the value is going to be the position of each of the id so that's where you could match to its corresponding values so you start the activity and you pass the intent object as a parameter so that's just understandable if it's too pain inflate a fragment if not push down to another activity to undo that we have the get item count and uh, the view order most times uh, once you are handling on click listener you do that from the view order and look at this now you're doing this from where the unbind view order when data is being binded to the view you pick it up from there and you could also get uh, the intent rolling so cool now we've had the adapter working the only two things left is the detail activity if it's not too pain and for the detail fragments if it's too pain the detail activity uh, once it's not too pain it's just going to be very simple uh, you call the layout that's needed which is a song detail now you set up your toolbar you show the off button in the action bar that's where you could go back to the calling activity which is going to be the main activity when you click the off button so you use this action bar get action bar method and you set the display home as up enabled to be true once you do that it's actually going to trigger the robot and you need to actually undo this too in the manifest we get to look at that later on for save instance state if save instance state is not equals to null you get the selected song position from the intent extra 
now we're going to decode the extra what are we getting you get an intent get an int extra which is the key can you notice we're actually passing a key and uh, a default value zero which could will change once you decode it more so you create an instance of the detail fragment and add to the activity using the fragment transaction which you're going to do with the song detail fragment here and you get the support fragment manager the song detail id container will be changed with this fragment so the fragment is still going to work despite the fact that you are pushing to the detail activity the detail activity is just doing what just creating a fragment so there is a fragment in an activity the fragment sits in the detail activity once uh, you're using a single page it sends to the detail activity where the fragment sits but once you're using a two pane it replaces a space a frame layout with let's say the fragment which is actually housing in the detail activity that's just the, the gimmick so now the detail activity has the set that will be replaced in two pane i hope we understand how it works so it's as simple as that the option item selected is for the two bar where you get to uh uh, and do some menu or some overflow menu if they're present now this is for the back button the back button takes it back to the main activity now let's get to look at the detail fragment you see what we're talking about so the detail fragment is very important it's so it's so important for the detail activity and at the same time it's important for the two pane mode as well so the detail activity houses the content here uh it extends the fragment as we all know the constructor an empty one and the on create which is actually going to handle some uh activity implementation uh now it gets the arguments that's what you use when you are calling an intent uh from the fragment gets arguments and contains the key which is the song id key which has been passed from uh the main activity now from this you could load the content specified by the fragment argument uh, based on the song have the song utilities pointing as a song uh, which include the song title and detail so this is where you use the song item to get the argument and also the key cool you also need to inflate the fragment uh, layout there should be something to bind the layout to bind to the fragment which is the song detail now to show the detail information a text view just to test if the song is not null uh, you initialize the view and here you could pass the song to call on the details that's set to the text uh, to the text view which you've actually specified in the song detail layout now this song is usable here to point at the details cool what's this method going to do this method sets up a bundle for the argument to pass to a new instance of this fragment where you're going to have a parameter called the selected song which is an integer position of selected song in the song list now it's actually going to undo each of the positions so it's actually going to make it accurate once you press click on item a the detail of item a should show up with the help of the position selected the same thing goes for b c d and downwards so you have the song data fragment here is instantiated with from an with an object with it and now you set the argument you could put an integer and uh, that pass to the selected song as the value and this is the key so set the argument and also you return a fragment copy so with that that sets up the master detail flow and the only inclusion we need to do right now is to add the song detail activity into the manifest uh, look at it closely there's a parent activity name pointing back to main activity and the metadata is for the Android versions lower than 15 uh, this is going to help to still make the app enabled work cool we've been able to set up the master data flow and I will actually be testing this out in a bigger emulator so let me launch that out uh, for us to see go oh, actually Oh, it's wow, wow! We have it right there. Uh, the Android emulator. This is the 10.1 screen. Uh, the the portrait is just looking like a normal phone, but I'll make it look larger when I try to swivel it 
down to a landscape mode so with the landscape mode uh, we should have uh, the master detail flow right on course cool can you see that right there uh, once we have it in landscape we have the list of item right there at the left and the larger space of the frame layout which is for the container right there at the right a click on each of these item brings back the container can you see that uh, values have been set down to that container and it keeps changing so the master detail flow actually uh, handles uh, for tablet screens cool and uh, you have your application responsive to different screen sizes now let's get back to the portrait uh, we have it right that so once we click it triggers the detail activity another activity comes on top and the up enabled works flawlessly so we've actually achieved this and uh, this is a good way to start up and uh, our employee to integrate master data flow in an application which which is targeting uh, larger screens tablets and so on TVs and so on so that's a very good way to actually wrap up your application to run on multiple devices thank you guys for hanging out with me uh, throughout this video and I'll employ you to subscribe to my channel and also get the source code from the link uh, I'm going to be sharing in the description and leave comments whatsoever and I'll be there to answer any of your queries. Take care. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.